Fair enough. <laughs> okay. Mm. Next take. <clears throat> mm-hmm. I don't even really know what to give this one. Wizards of the Coast should just rip off the Band-Aid and include all the real-world religions in one expansion book. They already boosted the four, like, four pantheons. Yes, I'm also saying they should include the Abrahamic lore as well with all the different branches and branching faiths. Go big or go home. No! 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 Let's no! Not, guys. Absolutely, Absolutely not! not. <laughs> There's a reason the whole, Are you like, demons and mind? demigods book <laughs> yeah. in the 80s was banned. Like, come on, let's... No! Are you fucking mad? You, no. do, you want, no. do you want another satanic panic, but this time it's like, actually, no, it'd be the same thing. Christians are just yes, mad. Yes, like, yeah, it's exactly what it'd be. Oh, like, what my do you mean, God. What do you mean Jesus is only a CR-21? I, I like, don't know. Well, I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, I don't I don't know who wrote this per- whoever wrote this. You you are going. You you want to see the world burn. <laughs> this is that's craziness. You can't you cannot put Christianity and Islam and Judaism and and fucking Buddhism in D&D. That is It's just like that such a bad South idea. Park episode where they have all the like the religious super friends. Oh, my. featuring Muhammad, and you're like, oh no. my god, no! <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think that no. so. Oh, fuck. I don't know this for a fact, so I'm not going to presume that I know this for a fact. Okay, but the logical explanation as to why we don't have many real world religions that aren't extinct or so few people actually like practice it that they're basically irrelevant, like you know, people who are still uh, Norse, for example. Yeah. Um, is because there is very little backlash involved in that thing. Not enough people still believe in Ra and Zeus to have right. to make a kerfuffle out of it. Right. So you have a lot more freed reign with the things that you can do with it and a lot more you can leave up to creative decision. Yeah, if um, you make Jesus a, a CR20 wizard who also bangs hookers or something, you're going to piss a lot of people off. Yeah, there, like most people don't like their real world faith being tested in a shit even in a controlled environment like for the sake of discussion most people aren't really chill with that as for somebody who's i don't know a deist basically i don't particularly give a shit but i am very aware that i am not most people uh no yeah no uh you uh, also absolutely do not want to give any of those individual stat blocks because that would only make things worse just keep away like there's a very large reason that all the demons and devils are from like one of the 18 trillion Christian AUs, you know, like technically speaking, none of the demons of the Ars Goetia are like real registered Catholic canon. So you can do whatever the fuck you want with them because they're not you're not really going to bug anybody other than like really hardcore Satanists. But like, I don't know, man, go outside and touch some grass. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, no, this is an L take. <laughs> it's spicy as fuck. Yeah. That is some ghost pepper spicy. level spice. <laughs> yeah, but that is an spicy, L take if I've spicy ever Spicy mega one. L. T- like Jesus mm-hmm. Christ. Now, okay, I will say to give this person a little bit uh, a potential a potential out. I feel like I'm yeah. trying to be nicer to all these takes because I know what a lot of these takes we know the people in question, um, and I, I'm not trying to start flame wars with people I actually know. <laughs> but like flame on. To, to potentially give the 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 out of what they mean by this, there could be I could see an argument for essentially taking uh, taking real world religions and twisting them into fantasy versions and using that inspiration as backing for pantheon stuff. And what I mean by that is, for example, the Shinomagami Tensei games are all always use christian mythology as the basis for a lot of their narrative but you're not literally fighting god or you know satan you know you'll be fighting like they'll have a funny looking guy and they'll call him like you know the dark lord or whatever and it's clearly satan but they're not going to say it's satan or you meet some other dude called yeshua and like it seems pretty obvious it's supposed to be god but they're not going to call him god like if you did something like that i could see an argument for that that could be kind of fun and interesting if you do it, it you know, re- respectfully. But also, d and has got a bad history of stepping on toes and shit. I mean, they've brought in actual, more modern, like, 
Asian influence deities and stuff and been real disrespe- disrespectful about the whole situation. So like it's a very touchy subject. Yeah, it, but it, yes. faith is a very touchy subject in, in itself, general. And yeah. it's it's best to broach it like you're walking on glass shards and eggshells. Yeah. So and look, I I understand there is this urge. I I get it to just be like fuck it. Who cares? Be transgressive. It's it's better to step boundaries and see where you fall than to walk around them. I don't think D&D is the game to do that. <laughs> I don't think it's the game to do that. And to, to go on your Shin Megami Tensei thing, they do actually sometimes very specifically like call out Yahweh and Lucifer. But the difference thing is there is that Shin Megami Tensei is not an interactive game, right? It's a video game. You play it. There's a studio of a bunch of execs who don't give a fuck about you or whoever's complaining, right? You play the game and you go, all right, well, like, I don't know. They're cool things. But you as the dungeon master on in some level are personally culpable for the things that you bring up in your game. You know? Sure, yeah. That's I think the big thing is if you're playing with uh, with a a a player friend who uh, is muslim. Oh, like at the actual table. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a pro- you're not supposed to depict Muhammad ever. People right. take that very seriously. If you depict Muhammad, That's a problem for that player and potentially a very irreconcilable one. Yes. Don't do that. That You know, that being said, if you have a particular if you're a person, I'm going to assume the well, maybe I shouldn't assume this. I was going to say I was about to say I'm going to assume this person is perhaps Christian in some fashion. Maybe I shouldn't assume that. Um, But if you are somebody who's like christian and you know has done some theology study and stuff and you think there's some interesting you know pulling from the old testament you know everybody likes to talk about the the biblically accurate angels meme right if you want to pull from that stuff in your game and you know your players aren't going to get mad at you or whatever then like just do it yourself but i don't think you could expect wizards to do that (laughs) yeah no i agree absolutely not uh yeah (laughs) Like Ooh. I said, I'm I'm partially with you. I I I don't exactly not want it to happen, but it should not happen. Yeah, like I said, that's why that's what I'm saying. If you have some interesting ideas, do it at your personal table. That that's where I go. You know. Yeah. I all right. I'm gonna be real. <laughs> that might be the spiciest take. That was that was a spicy I, boy. Yeah. I, it's if it's not the spiciest, it's top two for sure. I I mm. would love to. I kind of I really kind of want to know who wrote this and be like, all right. Give me your strongest argument for how this could possibly work. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I also do. Like, I'd love to see this person comment. Yeah. Uh, uh, just 